Hey everyone, my name is Garrett Oakamber, and welcome back to State of Decay. This is the... That was delicious and crunchy. Okay. This is the Silent Hill mod for State of Decay Year 1 Edition. We're gonna go up on this tower because it's something I always neglect to do, which is actually quite important to do because then you get a lay of the land, you can see things before they come. Um... Just gotta be careful getting down the ladder, as always. I have lost too many people to these damn ladders in the past. Uh, but we are then gonna go on a feral hunt, and this is gonna be... Well, I mean, we've killed how many ferals in the last episode? I'm feeling more confident than I ever have about killing ferals. They are still a very scary zombie. Um, akin to the biggin, they are one of the most dangerous zombies in the game. I would say they're a little more dangerous because they can grapple you forever. Um, there, there's really no telling when that grapple is going to be your death. And that's what I don't like about ferals. You don't know when you're going to die from them. They just decide to kill you. I think we got everything, even though she's not explaining it. There we go. No, it isn't. That's the juggernaut. We should take care of that juggernaut. I don't like that he's so close to home. But we're going to go on the feral hunt first. And if the juggernaut is still there, the uh, biggin, we're going to take him out. You know, their actual working name was Biggin. And they changed it to read as juggernaut. But the development team still calls them biggins. Because uh, they're big and, you know, they're not cuddly despite the name. They are quite ferocious, and they can kill you whenever they feel like it. It's kind of like with the feral. It is debatable which is more dangerous. The feral has the speed to constantly pursue you. And I find that absolutely terrifying. But the biggin, once it catches you, it's pretty much over. I mean, the biggin has a limitation, it has trouble getting into, or it has the inability to get into buildings. That always helps. There's another lookout tower here. Um, and there's probably a vehicle, there are vehicles down here. There's a horde next to that one, but there's an SUV by the bridge. Unfortunately, by the bridge there's usually a lot of bad shit. Um, you know what? No. While we're here, we might as well. We might as well. It's not the largest lookout tower in the world, but it's definitely going to give us some foresight. And that foresight is going to allow us to save ourselves some time and potentially save our lives. Unless there's nothing to actually look at. In that case, what was the point of coming up here? <laughs> there's no point. We've already discovered everything there is currently to discover. That is perfectly A-OK -okay in my book. Um... We could be sneaking around here, and there is a horde, so probably is wise to start sneaking around. Yeah. Only thing I don't like is the rate at which we sneak is not the greatest. See, there is a taxi, and it looks like the horde that was around here is gone. Yeah, it's over, it's down the street, so even if they hear us, we can move on. Um, hi there, how are you? Just gonna kick you. And finish him off. It's fine. I am actually heavy, heavily, uh, sorry, heavily debating uh, putting points into blade. And the reason for that now is bladed weapons is a pretty loose term. It's any bladed weapon, as opposed to guns, where we have to actually we invest points in a particular gun for skills. We're only getting that use out of that gun. Now, I kind of like being able to use this incendiary shotgun, but I don't necessarily like the shotgun in State of Decay. Because most of the time it does not score a killing blow. Nor would a shotgun always score a killing blow on a zombie. In fact, you're least likely to get a, a killing blow on a zombie with a shotgun. Despite it being the greatest zombie killing weapon, as it's referenced many times. The only reason it's... No, we, we can... Okay? Taxi? Magic Taxi. Hi there. Uh, <laughs> I, thank you. Um, now the reason it's called the greatest ma uh, Magic Taxi, the greatest zombie killing weapon is only because really? Okay. Well, they know where we are. 
They know where we are now. Well, no, looks like they stopped. We gotta be careful. And my dumb ass, I just stuck my hand in that freezer and alerted a zombie. Oh well. They don't know how to get in, so I'm good for now. Let's do it. Can you get out of my way so I can go over here? Thank you. We're gonna have a lot of company pretty soon, so that's something to look forward to, right? Small backpack, that's great. No one wants that. Lots of food here. I could send a runner, but first... There's the zombies. I can take the sword on, head on. Okay. Let's get him. Let's get him. Let's do it. No! <laughs> Don't kick the zombie that's down. Kick the zombies that are up. Jesus. Ah. Okay. Behind you. <laughs> well, break the window, why don't you? Okay. Um. Probably need to eat that coating there. Okay. So they want us to check these nearby buildings. That's. I know where you are. I can see you. Hi, buddy. How are you? Coming out that door? He's done. Good. We did it. That was easy. <laughs> it was the door. See, if they have room to escalate and, like, move at you with momentum, then they're a problem. If not, uh, they're easy to kill. I don't remember what I was talking about, by the way. I was talking about something, and I had, I had something in my head, and I was like, yeah, this makes sense to me, and then suddenly it didn't. Um, so you know what I'm going to do? What was that? Oh. <laughs> It's an army zombie. Remember what I said about I wasn't sure how this system worked? Well, for those of you who wanted it to work, I think we can hold this place. we're going to establish this as an outpost. Let's make this outpost happen. It's a tiny outpost. I don't necessarily like it. It's really small, but... I mean, it is defensible for its own degree. There's nowhere else for enemies to really go. We have food drops inside of it, so if this is true, that this will actually give us a trickle of food, there's two of them in here, I think that's decent. I think that's a, a decent bargain. Um, we need to actually arm this outpost because I don't think we have... Oh, no, no, they're already armed. They're already armed. Okay, the mines are already armed. That's good. That's good. There are zombies in this building, though. Somewhere. Open this door. There's a desk here. I don't know what's in the desk. There's a gun. We'll take the gun. Don't really need it. I did want to make the Undead Labs... Ow. Undead Labs offices into a... base. But I don't think we have to. Because uh, we already have this other place. It's pretty nice. This would have been a nice outpost, but technically it's in the safe area, so it is part of the outpost. It doesn't matter which place you actually turn into the outpost. I just wanted to see if that food that was in there will eventually trickle up. And so far, I mean, we've got more food than we actually need, but if it does trickle up, that's good. That's good, because that way we're going to be losing less food the amount of time that we take to walk around town and figure things out. Of course, it only affects that building, from what I understand. Um, searching this. Lots of stuff. Small backpack. We don't really need the small backpack. But it works to some degree. We're gonna drink the coffee. Got plenty of coffee to keep moving. I think we can keep Garabani out for a while. I don't know what I just ate there. I think I just drank the other coffee. Never mind, I'm stupid. Discount everything I said about me being an intelligent gamer. Uh, it is very early in the morning. No, I didn't drink the other coffee, so now I don't know what I took. Great. We're gonna take that ammo. We're gonna leave the backpack. I need a large backpack, and I have yet to find one. Uh, whatever. Very early in the morning is is very late for me. So little bit slower 
in the thought process than I normally would be. But I'm feeling great, because I had a headache earlier, and it's gone. I had a great night of hanging out with friends. There's more food here. We do not need it. We do need the medicine, though. So, that's always useful to have. Okay, we got some combat training that we're going to do. But first... Uh... No, we're gonna do we're gonna do uh, fear itself. Fear itself seems like it would be a smart move, only because we have somebody that needs to be talked to, and if they're not talked to, that can actually devastate our standing with them and or the entire structure of the colony itself. So, talking to this person is probably more important than combat training. I want to do the combat training next. We'll see how this goes. We have to kill that biggin though, so I'm probably gonna hire this person to get over their fear by being a meat shield for me. Okay, so we got Ryan following us, and he is having some issues with his thought process. He is terrified, apparently, of something. Of what? I'm not sure. Maybe it's the zombies. Maybe it's because he'll never get a new pair of uh, pants, or, you know, clean pair of pants. Yeah, he's gonna shit two of them. Cool. Well, the best way to get over your fear is to come over here and help me kill a biggin. Which I don't know where it is now. Don't let it get up. No, you're right, don't let it get up. Where is that big mother fricker? I don't know where he went. So I'm assuming he's gone. I'm not worried. There is still something in that. Now we're gonna kill some okay. Yeah, I like the sound of that. Last time I was at a gas station, everything went wrong. Could we just not go wrong again? Okay. Doing good. Doing good. Oh, I, I kicked you. BS. Nice crush. Okay. We got him. Can I get some more food, maybe? That's useless. Yeah, there we go. That's, that's a great idea. Just gonna smash through the window. There's more food here. There's lots of food if we ever need it. Lovely, lovely stuff. Don't you love when there's too much food? I do. <laughs> okay, well, we know where to go for food. Sorry, it's Rylan, not Ryan. Yeah, don't do anything stupid, Rylan. What kind of name is Rylan? <laughs> I'm not judging. I don't know. I've never heard of someone named Ryland. There was like a guy called Brantz once at one of my schools. And everyone was like so confused. Not not just the kids, mind you. The teachers were confused. Brantz? Like, hi Brantz, how are you? <laughs> my name is Brantz. My parents hated me. <laughs> That's awful. <laughs> I think that occurs when parents don't know what to name the child. Or they are inspired by something else outside of the mainstream and they think it's a good idea at the time and then they realize what a terrible mistake they made. Or like naming your kid Seven. It sounds nice. Yes, it does sound nice. Unfortunately, Seven happens to be a really awful name. <laughs> Don't ever name your child Seven. It's just going to end in them crying a little bit. We have a Rusty Kirkry. I don't want a Rusty Kirkry. Can we get a Talwar? Towers are nice. Swords are great. Swords are wonderful. Good. We took some codeine. We're probably going to OD. It's fine. We've got plenty of stuff. We've got plenty of coffee to keep us awake. Um. Ah, let's see. Oh, that's right. The machine shop can make shit. Yeah. That's right. I didn't mean to make that, but whatever. It's a thing. Um, a cooking area, storage area, dining area. Clean area improves health, blah, blah, blah. Storage area, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we've got a lot of options. Uh, what do we need? We have that. Needs tattoo artists. I didn't know you could get that. That's cool. I like that. Uh, we need a tattoo artist for that. Uh, 
We have beds. I think we will set up. Hmm. We'll set up the dining area. My main reason for that is we don't really need a cook because I never really use the uh, skills for that. People can live off baked beans, but um, it says it reduces vermin. So occasionally you'll have things where food goes missing and no one knows what happened to it. It's we already took care of fear of itself. Looks like we missed our shot. Are you kidding me? Someone's still afraid. You've been scared this entire time. Are you kidding me? It's because of the goddamn traitor. He's been sitting there and has been blocking our progress. <laughs> this poor girl needed someone to confide in. And, and now she's just standing there. Come on, get in the car. Get in the car. Uh, get in the truck, sorry. Just taking care of some business. Care of some business. Get, you get you back into the swing of things. There's two people that were scared. That's just freaking wonderful. God dang. Okay. okay. There are zombies in here. Zombies outside. It's great either way, right? It's okay. I just got scratched a little. It's not that infectious. <laughs> Ugh. Oh, goodness. Oh, God. This is bad. I can handle them when they're coming at me in a straight line, but when there's so many of them... Nice, nice. You got your second wind. Stop it. Get off of her. Get off of her. Get off of her. Oh, God. Okay. Yeah, they're not that bad, huh? For all those bruises, scratches, and bites, let's go search this house, because why the hell not, right? Medicine resources. Nice. That's really nice. I like that. I like to see that. We have a zombie incoming. No real concern. It's just one zombie. We have another zombie over there that doesn't appear to want any part of this. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Holy shit. We found a broadsword. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Give me, give me, give me, give me, give me. <laughs> Now I can actually be myself in the zombie apocalypse and take out my sword and start hewing down the living dead. That is cool. I like that a lot. Of course I'm taking that. Okay. Let's head back home. Best house ever. <laughs> I'd like to think that was uh, Garrett in the zombie apocalypse's home. Bye. Okay, cleared out. A good deal of that horde, but there's still a few left over. No doubt they're gonna be following us, but it's fine. Okay. Uh, we've got a bunch of other things we gotta take in. Got a clock in there we'll have to put away. So hopefully this girl's no longer scared. I mean, we just took out a huge horde of zombies. Fear itself. And she seems to have done really well for herself. That's good. That's always good to see. And now we can drop off all this poo. There you go. Yep. Let's Didn't drop that. Let's drop it. that. Um, I'm gonna keep that bomb on me because fire is so useful, and it saves us um, the misuse of other things. Hi there, sir. Why do you have a bag on you? I don't know. He has a bag on him for some reason. He's doing things that are strange and new to me. Look at this sword. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> We're gonna switch over to Tucker, because I just want to see... Connor, Rylan... Tucker. Switch over. Oh, now you don't have it on you, huh? Oh, I see how it is. 
going to switch over to Garibani back. Back to Garibani. We're fine. I, hope we don't regret that opportunity. I don't know what we missed. <laughs> I've been busy. I've been busy, damn it. We're going to do the combat training. We're going to do the combat training. In the next episode, because I thought I'd be able to do it in this episode, but I don't want to run over my time here. Uh, thank you all so much for watching. Hope you're enjoying the series so far. If you're liking this, let me know in the comments below. If there's anything in particular you want to see, let me know. For those of you new to the channel, first of all, thank you for watching. And that sword just made the most satisfying splatter sound against that zombie. That was great. We have two clocks on us. Um, I'm just going to keep it on me for now because you never know when you're going to need it. Uh, yeah, so I'll see you all later. And I hope you're having a wonderful night or day, depending on when you're watching this. And yeah, I'm excited for some new games and new things that are going to be happening. But for now, I'm just going to enjoy driving around State of Decay. See you later.